everything is instant now. We're just used to getting everything immediately. People don't think that, no, some people actually like taking their time over something. My name is Kim Rugg. I am uh, an artist and I work with uh, printed papers, printed uh, images, uh, newspapers, comics, stamps, anything printed is of interest to me. Normally what happens is on the day I decide to start a project, I go out and buy the paper. I start with a one sheet, one front page of a newspaper and that's all I use. It, it's the same size. From a distance it'll look like the same, pe the same thing. Um, it's only when you get close enough that you realise that mm, that's not a normal text. But I don't add anything and I don't take anything away. Everything you start with will end up in the finished piece. This is an old Guardian from 2005. I've already cut up all the, um, the columns, the edges, the, the blanks. This one is arranged in alphabetical order. I still want it to look a bit like the original in terms of the composition. All I'm doing literally is removing the message but keeping the messenger. I've started a new large scale piece using a New York Times. In my opinion, one of the only, only papers that still looks really nice. I will recreate this page, but only using the A's. Each A will be placed in its place on the page. So the final piece will be just a white piece of paper with just a scattering of A's. And then the same thing, another piece of paper with just all the B's and all the C's. So it's like a letter separation. I think this will, this, this will take me about five months. This one is um, it's a special stamp for um, the marriage of um, Charles and Camilla. What I just did here was to stretch it by um, making, using two stamps and slicing them very, very thinly and putting each piece side by side to give the, the impression of, of a stretch, which could be done in two seconds on Photoshop. I don't use Photoshop. The Queen's first class stamp just uh, made up with four stamps. The work with stamps is absolutely crucial for me to actually put it in the post box and allowing the postal system to take charge of it until the work is re-delivered um, to, through my front uh, door, my letterbox. These ones, they went through the post, but they got intercepted. Quite funny that I know I've put about three or four pounds worth of money on there, but I have to go and pay the revenue protection fee of one pound thirty to get them back. So I just pretend, I don't know who's sending me these. So I took a photo of a cereal box as you would see it, you know, sitting on your breakfast table, and then remake, rebuild this piece out of four boxes. It's an image made out of the object, but it's an object made out of the image. I work um, every day, seven days a week. I need to do it. I've always, I'm never idle. I'm always doing something.